So I lost the footage in the beginning of this video, but what I did was I washed and hauled um, my four quarts of strawberries, and these are all the, the stems, and I took two quarts at a time and laid them in this lasagna pan, and I mashed them with a potato masher. So I just mashed it until it was pretty... Um, I wore an apron too. You might want to wear an apron. These weren't really juicy strawberries, but um, just to be on the safe side. And I did that with two batches and it made exactly um, eight cups. So it should be easy to follow the recipe and figure out how much pectin and sugar that I'm going to need. So I'm going on the recipe of the pectin and this is um, real fruit classic pectin and I just multiplied the recipe to make so it would fit eight cups. Okay, I've got my jars washed and um, in this hot soapy water and I've got the lids and the rims here and what I'm going to do is put these in the canner. I'll show you that. I'm going to put these in the water bath canner and I'm just waiting for that to boil or to get hotter. I'm going to take these utensils out because I'm sterilizing those. And here I'm ready to put my pectin into my strawberries. So I've got 14 half pints in the water. I'm going to bring this up to a boil to sterilize them and I added a couple extra just to be on the safe side so I won't be using them all. But it's a big batch so I'm not quite sure what will happen. So I've measured out my pep pectin and I've got I think nine tablespoons and I'm gonna sprinkle this on top. Now these strawberries are still cold so I kept them in the fridge. I prepped them yesterday by the way and just kept them in the fridge overnight and just cuts down on the amount of work. So it's all ready to go this morning. And I'm, by all means, this isn't a tutorial because, um, you know, I don't can a real lot. I've, I used to can and now I'm coming back to it again. So, I don't want you to take my word for it. But there's plenty of videos out there. And also, follow the, uh, the directions on your canning equipment or get a good canning book. Just going to put the rest of that pectin in, and then I'm going to bring this to a a boil, um, a boil that I can't stir down. And I'm going to add one small pat of butter, which keeps the it keeps. Oh, there's a little leaf in there. Got to get that out. Um, the butter keeps the foam from um, building up. So behind my um, strawberries, I have a pan, which I'm going to um, get to it's a, to a boil right now. I'm going to turn this down to a simmer and put my lids and bands in there and then keep them ready. Okay, so I set my camera up so I could have my hands free. I'm going to um, take out the jars. The water's still boiling, but I think I'm going to turn it down until I got all my jars filled. I'm going to do two at a time. 
and I'm going to make sure my jar rack is in the upright position so I can get to these jars easier and it'll be easier to fill. So here's my water and I'm going to put a little bit of vinegar in there. And that's just to wipe down the edges of the jars. This may be messy. Actually, I'm going to move this very carefully closer. Touch more on that. I hope I'm on frame with this. I don't let any of that vinegar or water get inside the jar. Okay. Tight. They are hot. Okay, I'm going to leave these right here because my jar, my canner is still really filled of jars. So I'm going to take probably three more out before I put the jars in. This is my favorite jelly jar, this little pot-bellied one. i got to find some more of those. Oh my God. I'm so glad I put... Oh, sorry, the cat's in the way. I'm so glad I put two extra in. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 half pints. So those will last a long time. Look at that. They're so pretty. Not you, kitty. Not you. The jam. But you're pretty too. 